here. Okay, so I wanted to just tell you a little bit about the capacities of the various components that we have on the site and maybe a little bit about why we have as much equipment as we do to support this And then site. we came out again about a year later, we looked at the data, we decided, okay, let's get another 20 kilowatts of solar out here. So we have 60 kilowatts of solar so far and add max out the battery bank to 56 batteries. I think that's 250 kilowatt hours or something like that. And uh, so, so that's what we have, 60 kilowatts of solar, 250 kilowatt hours of Pites batteries, a 200 kilowatt generator which is a little too big it only really needs to be 100 or 150 um, but it was already here and we have 12 12 kw solux out here and that that's really what comprises the system and the reason we need that much equipment is his load in the summertime can be upwards of 400 kilowatt hours a day so the guy's using an amazing amount of juice he has 36 tons of ac He's got a 10 or 15 horsepower, three phase well pump. He has a, a 10 horsepower fountain and a big swimming pool out there. He does weddings and retreats and stuff like that out here. It's a fairly expensive property. And um, so he has this big fountain in the back. And of course, you know, it's 10 horsepower running all day and all night. <laughs> This property used to be a gold mine. The previous owner was mining gold on this property. That's what those mounds of dirt are. What's the name for the ranch? Vulture Ranch. Vulture Ranch. That's a cool name. That's why we saw like vultures on the sky, right? Well, yeah. Everything here is powered by solar. There's no other choice. Uh, hopefully it'll be an attraction for some people because you know that's kind of a buzzword now uh, eco this and eco that and this is truly an eco system here I mean it's truly off-grid and uh, like um, you didn't see it but I have a garden over here so and uh, I'm in the process of building a chicken coop right now so we'll be able to offer our guests uh, fresh uh, garden you know uh, lettuce and fresh vegetables uh, and fresh eggs also. So, uh, you know, we've had nothing but good experiences with all the batteries put in service. That's the E-Box uh, and the V5. Um, just as it pertains to this site in particular, there's almost 290 kilowatt hours of storage enclosed liquid the inverter system. And not, of other, not a lot of other competitor products can, uh, can say the same in terms of the amount of storage that you can put behind each inverter. And uh, this site's been operating extremely well. It's, uh, there's a lot of load on the site and um, we have no complaints so far. And with the V5 as well. So we've started integrating those into our designs and um, all the systems are working well. So uh, the Pites team uh, has been very supportive of our efforts, uh, particularly when it came to this system, because it was the first one we did. And we were just trying to get familiar with uh, the tools that we need to interface with the battery, um, the various ways you interact with the battery, the software on your computer. Uh, we hadn't done it before, and uh, everyone from Pipes was very helpful, getting us up to speed and getting us the appropriate tools and walking us through how to update the firmware on these batteries and making sure that the inverter system, the battery system, were communicating correctly together. Uh, after that, it's it's been fairly, uh, we haven't had a ton of interaction because we got so comfortable with the first installation that we've been able to uh, kind of carry that knowledge forward and just keep putting them in.